it is Ty from 10 Pro.com coming at you with another lesson and today we're doing a basic blues one-on-one shuffle all right this is blues 101 if you're brand new you just got a guitar for Christmas you're just getting into it it's a great first lesson because it's easy and it sounds cool that's awesome all right so what do you need patreons if you become a patron it starts a dollar a month you have a PDF with the lesson but you don't need to be a patron follow along all you need is a guitar attention span and a brain you got all three of those things follow me on in and let's break this one down right now all right, time to boogie. Okay, so what we're doing is we're breaking down this boogie blues today. Um, this was the very first thing I learned on guitar that I felt was cool. You know, I learned some chords that sounded nice, but this was the very first thing I learned that sounded cool, and I'm happy to bring it to you today because it's really easy, okay? Um, my dad actually taught it to me. So you take your, my dad doesn't play guitar, that's why I chuckled. So you take your index finger and you put it on the second fret of the um, A string, okay? And then what you're going to do is you're going to play these two strings at the same time. Now, it really helps if you're able to get your palm and rest it on that string to give it a little chunkier sound. So I like to play this particular style of blues, I like to play with my pick near the sound hole, okay? And I like to get my hand on the bridge, but what I'm doing with my hand is I'm getting a little palm on the strings, so the sound is a little shorter. As opposed to... Now that actually might be the hardest part of the lesson, is kind of developing that muting or that dampening sound. That's a great way to think about it. You're kind of just dampening the sound, okay? So the idea here is to also take your ring finger and put it on this fourth fret of that same string up here and alternate back and forth like boom 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 boom. Now blues isn't one and two and three and four and it's got what this called a shuffle or a boogie or a swing and that's what that So the idea here is it goes one and two and three and four, and that would be one bar. Now this is the 12 bar blues, so you're going to do that four times. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. four. Alright? After that, this is where it gets really cool and keeps it simple. We're going to take these same exact ideas and we're just going to move these fingers down a string. All right. All we're doing is same exact position. Now we're not going to be playing the E string anymore. We're only going to be playing these two strings, the A string and the D string. But it's the same idea. Check it out. All right. One and two. Now in a 12 bar blues, the five and the six is the four bar. So you're only going to do this two times. One and two and three and four and one and two and three. And four. You'll then go back to the E. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. And now we've completed the first eight bars of the blues cycle. The next thing we're going to need is the turnaround, which is the last four bars. So what we're going to do is we're going to take that pointer finger second fret there. And this time we're going to put our ring finger, our, our ring finger on the second or the fourth fret of the D string, all right? And that's going to function as our B chord and we're going to go 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 like this Also go back to our boogie and it sounds like this. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four. Alright, so practice up to that point. If you feel good with that, we're gonna keep on pushing this turnaround concept a little further, okay? Because now when we do this eight boogie here, we're gonna actually go back up to that B 
and just go da da and let it ring like this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One and two and three and four and one and. Okay? And then it would start over. One and two, three, four. And then you go back into the top of the boogie. So let's play those four together. That's the turnaround. Okay, so let's go ahead and play through that whole 12 bar loop. I'll count you in. Um, graphics on the screen to help you through. Here we go. One, two, three, four. So that, essentially that loop just goes around and around and around and around and around in a circle. Now, those pieces, like, like the chord, this is where the blues gets cool. Now, I'm talking to you guys, to beginners and even intermediate players maybe out here that just follow this lesson. Alright, this is the foundation, but this is just it's really a blank piece of paper. I taught you kind of how to make a piece of paper. Now what happens after that is what makes the blues special, okay? Because this is really just an E power chord. And that can work in a lot of different ways. It can be an E9, E7, you know, and then you have these chords all over the place. You have the Jimi Hendrix chord is an E dominant, right? And you can mix that in too. Something like... They're playing the same role, okay? So what, I'm not trying to challenge you to do all these things. I'm just encouraging you to learn this as the bass first and then start to think about harmony a little different. What else can you do to make an E chord? What else can you do to make an A chord? What else can you do to make a B chord? Okay? And then how else can you work the turnaround? Now, I mean, it's not just that shuffle we did. I mean, you know the famous turnarounds probably sound something more like this. That's just a foundation. I'm just giving you a basis. Where you go forward with this, I hope you follow with us. I hope you subscribe because we're going to keep doing blues lessons. Check out tenthumbspro.com. We'll organize the blues lessons in a, in a link for you there too. And then that way you can kind of follow this plan and keep on building on it. But remember, this is just the base. This is just the start. Have fun with it. Get it down. Internalize it. And then explore on, my ten thumbers. All right, so that was it. Happy to bring it to you. Now remember, this is the foundation, this is the seed, this is going to plant the lifelong lust for learning the blues, okay? The blues is an excellent vehicle to learn how to rock the guitar because even if you're not playing the blues, you end up playing pentatonic scales and things that look familiar. The gr blues is a great way to learn to play lead, a great way to expand your rhythm, and just a fun thing to do, okay? Very communicative style of music. So enjoy it, 10 Keep on rocking and rolling. Until next time, have fun, and we're going to keep on doing the same too. Take care, everybody.